Well, we're taking a look under the hood with Zinger. That's an American car company pioneering a new design approach and manufacturing technology for the automotive industry, beginning with its advanced hypercar 21C. Let's bring in Yahoo Finance's proud Supermanian, who went all the way out to my hometown of Torrance for this assignment. That's right. I had the chance to go to lovely Torrance to visit the Zinger <laughs> Vehicles factory outside of L.A., where the father and son team of Kevin and Lucas Zinger, right, their father and son, are shocking the auto world with the record-breaking 21C hypercar. It's very surprising tech under the skin. The duo pioneered a 3D printing process using aluminum and AI-driven design to make the ultimate car. Here's Kevin Zinger and why that process is so revolutionary. So when you bring those together, they allow you to create structures like this frame that have never been seen before. What you're able to do is use that computing to literally create in three dimensions a perfectly optimized structure, use 3D printing to materialize that perfectly designed structure, and then use automation to have a universal assembler assemble any perfect structures together seamlessly. So that secret sauce, if you will, is like AI-driven design leading to 3D printed metal parts that are then assembled by these robots in a circular, <laughs> a circular assembly process. It's all very cool. Uh, so um, this comes at a time where, of course, we've heard so many car makers had to deal with supply shortages. They've had some hiccups along their manufacturing process. How does this 3D printing allow this company to have a leg up potentially from the competition? You know, all they really need is just this, this aluminum powder, right? That they then use lasers to sort of 3D print these parts in these massive 3D printers. They have like several of these in this facility. So you don't actually have to, add, like, you only need certain parts and suppliers, right? It's maybe some brake calipers, things like that. Everything else is made with these, with these parts, with this 3D printing process. So essentially you can, in theory, if you have the schematics and the design, you can make any car ever made. <laughs> with these with these 3D printers, right? From like a from like a chassis and and skin metal skin point of view. So, um, but then, you know, they actually we talk about how this helps other car makers. They actually have some signed some deals with OEMs to make parts. So one of them is Aston Martin. They signed a deal to make parts like that rear assembly you just saw there. And this is a potentially big business for Zinger uh, and Kevin Son Lucas, who also I spoke to. He's also the CTO there. Uh, says it makes a lot of sense for automakers to outsource to them. Here's what he had to say. Compared to the capital bet you make in auto today, where you say, I'm gonna invest X hundreds of millions in a new stamping and casting facility, I'm gonna amortize that off with X hundreds of thousands of sales per year over a Y number of years, that's a very CapEx heavy bet to make. With us, you look to Divergent and Zinger, we will be your outsourced manufacturing partner, you pay us on a unit basis, that's a scalable, very attractive economic uh, structure. So that's the big bet, right? The company's investing heavily in more 3D printers, more assemblers, more factory space to make these parts for traditional OEMs, as well as for Zinger cars. They say these, that they have more deals to announce in the coming months. How big is their scale right now, their reach? So in terms of making parts, so they have about like, I think they have maybe 15 to 20 3D printers right now that can run kind of 24 hours a day. It takes about an hour to make a part. So we're, we're thinking, you know, we're saying about maybe, you know, if they make, 10 parts an hour times 24, 240 parts a day. And that's running full time. They don't run full time. Um, so they want to scale that up more and more with more printers. The thing is that, you know, then you have to take the parts and you have to go to the assembly process where they actually are glued together, screwed together with robots. So that also adds a bit more time to that. But they can actually, I think that the goal is to scale up tremendously from now. Yeah, certainly could come in handy, especially at the rate that we're seeing yeah. uh, some of these car makers churn out these vehicles. Thanks so much for that, Pras.